Hey everyone, welcome to episode three of my binder mail tutorial series. In today's video, we're gonna be creating some little coffee embellishments. I used my Tim Holtz coffee dye to create my little coffees and all the pieces that go with it. And I am going to be just showing you the process of how I put everything together. So I have my Aline's Tacky Glue and that is at first what I'm using. I noticed that it bubbles up and warps right away and I'm not too happy with that. So you'll see that I create the first couple. Um, I put together the first couple coffees using that glue, but I quickly just found out that I wasn't liking it. So I just started using my um, ATG gun to adhere my coffee sleeve down. And this is the little label for the coffees. And so for the little embellishment that I'm adding to the center of the label, I am using the puffy stickers from the snowflake collection from crate paper on the back of that label i added a piece of foam tape and then i'm just going to go ahead and add the lid to the top of the cup and place an acrylic block down on top of that just so all the air bubbles kind of leave it and it has something weighed down on top of it like i said i was not too thrilled about my adhesive choice in the beginning so I do switch over to an ATG gun because I just think that the glue I don't know maybe I was adding too much but it just basically kind of like bubbled up on me and um, wasn't too happy about it but I do love how these cute little embellishments turn out so basically this is just a little process video of me putting together my coffees so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys listen to some Christmas music while you watch me put together all these little coffees and then I'm gonna come back on and let you guys know how I'm going to be decorating up my page
Okay, so now that all my coffees are put together, I'm actually going to be decorating up my page. So I spelt out the word coffees using my Hello Bluebird letter die, and I just used craft cardstock to die cut my letters. I stitched with pink thread over the word. I also have this cute little gold foil sticker that says stay cozy, and I'm going to be adding that to the top of my page. And I love the way this turned out, but I just really wanted something a little bit extra. So I have the stickers, the chipboard stickers, and I just added these cute stars around my little label. I moved that last one that I placed down just because it was in the way. And this is where it got kind of difficult because I created six coffees not taking into consideration the size of the coffees and the size of my page. So I was only able to use four. So I kind of had to pick which ones were my favorite. And I just added little foam squares to the back of them and placed them on my page. I love that I'm able to use an entire collection for this binder mail. I think it just adds a really cohesive look and I think it's going to look so cute when I put everything together in the final videos. I'm just super excited for you guys to continue to watch this series. So I'm just kind of seeing where I want everything to go, placing my coffees on my page. And I wanted those gold stickers to be throughout the page. So after I add my last little coffee, I have two more gold chipboard stickers that I'm going to be adding to the bottom of my page. And this is my Stay Cozy Coffees embellishments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you all soon.